How to prevent hyperventilation. Hyperventilation is a medical term for unusually rapid breathing that's often triggered by stress, anxiety or outright panic attacks. One, excessively rapid breathing creates low levels of carbon dioxide in your blood, which can lead to dizziness, fainting, weakness, confusion, agitation, panic and or chest pain. If you frequently experience hyperventilation, not to be confused with an increased breathing rate from exercise, then you may have hyperventilation syndrome. Hyperventilation syndrome can often be overcome at home with the following helpful strategies, although sometimes medical intervention is needed. Preventing hyperventilation at home. Breathe through your nose. Breathing through your nose is an effective technique to combat hyperventilation because you simply can't move as much air through your nose compared to your mouth. Breathing through your nose will also help eliminate some common abdominal symptoms of hyperventilation syndrome, such as bloating, burping and passing gas. Nose breathing will also help combat dry mouth and bad breath, which are also associated with mouth breathing and chronic hyperventilation. Take deeper belly breaths. People who chronically hyperventilate usually take shallow breaths from their mouths and only fill up their upper chest upper lung fields when they inhale. This is inefficient and doesn't get enough oxygen into the blood, which increases respiratory rates. Persistent shallow breathing also causes too much carbon dioxide to be exhaled, which creates a negative feedback loop and further triggers hyperventilation. Instead, inhale through your nose and practice involving your diaphragm more, which will act to suck more air into your lower lung fields and supply your blood with more oxygen. Practice taking deep breaths in through your nose and watch your belly push out before your chest expands. You'll notice a relaxing sensation and reduced respiratory rate after a few minutes. Try holding your breath in your lungs a little longer also, aim for about 3 seconds or so to start with. Loosen your clothing. On the practical side of things, it's difficult to take deep breaths if your clothing is too tight, so loosen your belt and make sure your pants fit comfortably, particularly to make belly breathing easier. Tight clothes may contribute to the feeling of suffocation in sensitive or phobic individuals, so wearing loose clothing is an important strategy for some. Clothing made of soft fibers cotton, silk, may also be helpful, as rougher fabrics such as wool can cause skin irritation, discomfort, overheating and agitation in some people. Try relaxation techniques. Since stress and anxiety seem to be the major underlying causes of chronic hyperventilation syndrome, and are well documented to trigger acute episodes, a sensible strategy is to better manage how you react to stress. Stress relieving practices like meditation, tai chi and yoga are all helpful for promoting relaxation and better emotional health. Excessive stress, anxiety cause the release of hormones that prepare your body for fight or flight, which includes altered breathing and heart rates. Getting enough quality sleep is also important for better dealing with stress. A chronic lack of sleep hampers the immune system and often leads to anxiety and depressed feelings. 6. Get some aerobic exercise. Regular daily aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking, is another method to help you stop hyperventilating because it forces you to take deeper breaths and it can improve breathing efficiency. Other healthy examples of aerobic exercise include swimming, cycling, and jogging. An increased breathing rate from aerobic exercise characterized by deep breathing to increase blood oxygen levels should not be confused with hyperventilation, which is characterized by shallow breathing triggered by anxiety and then perpetuated to increase blood carbon dioxide levels. Cut back on caffeine. Caffeine is a nervous system stimulant found in coffee, tea leaves, soda pop, chocolate, energy drinks, some prescription drugs and over-the-counter weight loss products. Caffeine increases brain activity, which disrupts sleep, can trigger anxiety, and also negatively impacts breathing. It's been linked to hyperventilation and sleep apnea, breathing disruption during sleep to reduce the risk or degree of sleep disruption. Avoid all products with caffeine after lunchtime. Sleep deprivation leads to anxiety, which can trigger hyperventilation. Some people are slow metabolizers of caffeine, and some are fast metabolizers. Slow metabolizers may not be able to drink it at all, and fast metabolizers might be able to drink it within hours of bedtime. Chronic, daily consumption of caffeinated beverages doesn't seem to have as much impact on breathing because the body adapts to it compared to occasional use or binge drinking. Fresh brewed coffee tends to be the most concentrated source of caffeine. It can also be found in colas, energy drinks, teas, and chocolate. 